The year was 2008. I just got out of the pool with me and uh, one of my friends, and um, we went in and we started playing uh, this new game called Minecraft. Okay, it just came out on um, PC, and it was a beta version, and my friend wanted to show me it. Uh, and so as we were playing this game, his mom came in. Um, at the time, it was around eight years old, and she said she's going to go run for errands, um, get some things done, whatever, pick up groceries, snacks for us, uh, and she would be back in a little bit. He said, okay, that's cool. We're just going to play some Minecraft. So she left, and my friend looks at me, and he says, hey, Jake, I want to show you something. I'm like, okay. I'm like, you're showing me this new game. Like, what, what do you mean? He's like, no, come here. So he grabs his, at the time, was this monstrous iPad, um, and we go into his parents' room. Go to his parents' room into their closet and go underneath the clothes and closets and he turns off all the lights. I'm like, what? What is going on? Meanwhile, I'm eight years old. What's going on? He comes and he starts showing me these videos. I've never seen anything like this in my life. There's these men and women doing things while they have no clothes on. And I had not a clue to what was happening. After years went by, obviously, I understood that this was porn. And that was my first introduction to porn. Eight years old. That then developed a relationship. A mindset with females. With the opposite sex. That was the development of it. And when puberty started hitting in my body, you know, started going through all these functions and everything, I, I, that was a resource to go to. I knew it wasn't great, but I didn't know. And so after the years went by, I continued to utilize that resource over and over and over and over and not thinking anything of it. And then, you know, you'd be, say, in the locker room in junior high, and then, you know, kids would throw up, you know, say that they do it every once in a while. You're like, wait, you do that too? Wait, I do that, right? We all kind of do that. And then you're, you're like, oh, everyone does this. And then over time, you realize, wait, all, every guy does this, right? It's not, it's common occurrence. If you're not doing it one time a week, then you're weird, And so then it became more mainstream. It's like, well, yeah. So then I had, I had an iPad and every time I would go take a shower, I would watch YouTube videos, watch self-improvement, whatever it is. But before that, I would utilize my resources. Then I would clean up in the shower, watch some YouTube, good to go. It started to get to a point to where it was just like a routine. My, like brushing your teeth. And, you know, then there would be times where uh, like a speaker would come into the school and they would speak on how this addiction is detrimental to your life and your future. I'm like, well, oh, I'm not that bad. It's never going to get that bad. Addiction. Well, I'm not addicted. I quit whenever I wanted to. And then I got a girlfriend. And in, in uh, this was like freshman year of high school or so. And um, this girlfriend, we, became, we started to become serious. And I started to realize that this resource that I was utilizing was influencing my respect 
for my girlfriend. See, I started to become influenced by these external factors. And instead of me just living and like fully embracing and, and, you know, understanding a woman, a girl, I mean, I guess a girl at that time, uh, I would, I would just, you know, I would just picture her in a different way, not as a girl, but as just like a resource. And so inevitably I, I told her, I told her how I felt or what I was doing and if she was okay with that. And she was caught off guard, very caught off guard. And for me, I thought it was everyone does that. You didn't know, like everyone does this stuff. Obviously she didn't. I think there's many parents out there who probably don't know this stuff either. But this is one of the worst addictions that you can have because you do it alone. You don't let anyone else know. You're doing this and it's affecting your mind, your behaviors. The things that you do on a daily basis are affected by utilizing those resources in a routine. I don't care if it's daily, weekly, monthly, whatever it is, it's going to ruin your life. And I talked about this, I've talked about it in previous videos before, but specifically with my now girlfriend, obviously that first one didn't end up working out, um, and partly due to that. But uh, last two years ago, I made a commitment to myself that I would never utilize that resource ever again. See, what that is, is an energy source that I get to keep for myself, for my future family. Letting that energy out, releasing that to a screen. Think of this, just, just picture yourself in that motion, when you are doing that deed, just zoom out from yourself. How disgraceful do you look? What if your parents walked in on you doing that? Really and truly, like, would, would you be proud of yourself? This is how I looked at myself. I zoomed out and I saw this image Shame, guilt, sorrow, pity. I would spit on them. Weak. That's not the person that I am. And so I completely eliminated that resource from my life entirely. Sure enough, did this August 2022. A few months later, I ended up meeting this girl who was the most beautiful, innocent girl I have ever met in my life. And this girl I didn't envision as a resource. No, I saw her in all of her beauty. And to think, if a few months before that, I didn't commit to myself I didn't stop utilizing that fog that comes in my brain every time I do, like just pure shame. To think if I wouldn't have gotten rid of that a few months prior, I wouldn't have met this person that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Luckily, I've utilized resources now like the internet, um, like YouTube videos, t 
to help rid me of that pain. You are not in it alone. There are many other people who are going through this same problem. And yes, it is a problem. And talking about this more and just fully like being vulnerable, letting you know that you can get out of it. You will get out of it and your life will be better because of it. Who knows? You may meet your future wife. So, if you like this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And guys, you're not alone. And I'm going to continue to be here for you and for everyone else who needs it. Talk to you later.